Okay, the scale this lesson deals with is called an E Phrygian dominant scale. Um, you can get a full blown tutorial at lessons.mikedodge.com. If you go there, you'll see a tutorial called the Phrygian dominant tutorial. <laughs> and um, essentially, that takes you through a D Phrygian dominant scale in um, pretty good detail. I mean, there's, I think there's over 25 lessons included in that tutorial that'll break out all the patterns and everything for you. Um, essentially, there's a couple key things about this. If you're familiar with a Phrygian scale, that's a root, and this would be an E Phrygian scale. That'd be a root, a flat two, a flat three, a four, a five, a flat six, a flat seven, and a root. So it's it's an E. It would be E F G A B C D E. Okay. Essentially, what they do is they take the third note of the scale, and instead of playing G, they raise it one to a G sharp. They replace the G with a G sharp. Essentially, this gives you what was a flat third. Now it gives you a major third. So it's like a Phrygian scale with a major third in it. And here's the first octave. So that's E, F, G sharp, A, B, C, D, E. Next octave would again be E, F, G sharp, A, B, C, Okay, and that is example 1A in the, um, in the tablature. That's what I would call the open position of the E Phrygian dominant scale. Um, it's based on as many open strings as you can kind of get in there, so call it a, uh, an open position. But remember, these are just notes. Those notes are all over the fretboard. So let's say we're in the tab, I'm playing in the second octave here, which would be starting in the, the end of four in the first bar. I'm playing these four notes. Let's instead not go here, but let's play it up here. Okay, and here's where your little sliding can help you out because you can do something to this effect. Okay, essentially I'm just playing that same open position until I get to this note. Instead of going here, I'm sliding up to the same note on the D string though. And then back down and right straight back down the scale. Okay, that's the open position. We're going to play a closed position also, which is essentially the second octave of the scale is where we're going to start instead of the low octave. We're going to play it up around the seventh fret. This would be example 1B in the tablature. And this goes like this. Again, the same notes, the same order of the notes. This is two octaves to where the open position went from this low octave to this as the high octave. The closed position is going to start with this octave and play yet another octave higher. Okay, so if you kind of wanted to mix, mix all of them together, I guess you could do something like... That's just kind of showing you the the two patterns that I'm using or the two scales 
each contain two octaves. That's just kind of blurring them together and making it a three octave scale, I guess. There'd be to one, to two, to three. Yep. Okay. That is the scale. Um, a couple notes on that. We showed that that was a Phrygian scale with a raised third, with a major third. Um, also, this scale is a scale in its own, but it kind of is also associated with a harmonic minor scale that's played a, um, let's see, be a, f a fifth lower. Okay, so where we have E, Phrygian dominant, we would have A minor, or A harmonic minor. What's happening is this Phrygian dominant scale is really starts on the fifth note of a harmonic minor scale so we're not really going to deal with a harmonic minor scale but if you read through that Phrygian dominant tutorial at lessons.mikedodge.com it'll explain all that kind of show you how that's tied together okay that is our scale thanks <laughs>